Hello guys and girls and here we go again. We want to use the um, noise generator to work together with our kick drum. <clears throat> and I've got a sampled kick drum, not a sampled, that's not true, I've got a um, uh, triggered kick drum which sounds like this. Yeah, there's enough kick, but in not not enough um, bottom end, no sub kick at all. So, and I will do the following: I'll take a channel, in this case channel 33, and this is what I've got going now, and I want to explain what's up here. Okay. So on my, I'll mute the kick for now, on my channel 33 I've chosen the input to be the signal generator, over there. The signal, uh, the signal, yeah, the signal generator at the moment is doing a bandpass noise which you've heard already. And because I don't want to hear this signal all the time which would sound like this um, instead I'll uh, engage the, the the gate part on that channel and let it be sidechain triggered from the kick drum. Ah, I've done that already. You see? Go to sidechain and choose whatever channel you want to trigger that. And the result is now the following. When I now turn up my channel 33, the signal generator channel, it sounds like this. This makes some pretty convincing 80s claps. Okay. And if I now mix the kick drum in, you get this. This is funny, but not the thing we want to have. So we go to our signal generator and use a sine wave. Yeah, lots of low end. <laughs> no, not really. So, but if we change the frequency to, let's say, 40, 30, something, you get the idea. and I hope you can hear it. This now is the sound with a triggered and gated 50 Hz sine wave noise. And I hope it gets clearer if I take it out. I'm muted. And I'll engage it. Without and with it. Hope you like the idea and have fun with that. <laughs> 